name is K. Felix, and I will come you to K. Felix Inspire. Always remember, if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Please do stay tuned for more details in this video. Now, there is there is a trending video where uh, uh, Prophet Siawan is actually praising former President Ed Galungu. Two months ago, for over a year, Siawan was insulting President Ed Galungu. Siawan was saying all sorts of things against former President Ed Galungu. Siawan has no shame. Siawan has no moral fiber. He has no moral decadence to speak about good things about President Ed Galungu. We have a new president now in the country. Siawan must concentrate on speaking about the new president. After two months, what has changed? My question to Siawan is what has changed? How has Eddie Galungu all of a sudden changed from a bad president to a good president? What has changed? You see, the devil is a deceiver. The devil is a deceiver. Not many people can read behind the lines but some of us that can read behind the lines we know without fear of contradiction why is siawan talking good things about president ed galungu who has since left power why is he talking about him why is he talking about him the same siawan is the one that told the zambian people that Ed Galungu is the worst president that has ever lived in Zambia. He said that. And why would he turn around in less than two months? Why would he turn around and begin to say good things about uh, President Ed Galungu? Listen to me. The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. The spirit of the prophet. There are a lot of things that are going on in the nation of Zambia currently that has made a lot of people not to be happy. But the truth of the matter is this. If you supported somebody and then you made somebody to look like a devil, why are you now praising the same devil? My question is simple to Siawan. My question is simple. How has Ed Galungu all of a sudden changed from being a devil as you called him to being a saint today? How? What has changed within two months? What has changed in Ed Galungu that Siawan will begin to praise Ed Galungu? I'm finding this very hard to understand. And those of us with spiritual eyes those of us who understand spiritual mysteries, this is a very, very big eye opener. It's a very, very big eye opener. Very, very big eye opener. We need to pray. We need to go to the place of prayer. We need to go to the place of understanding. We need to go to the place of fellowship. This is beyond politics. How can a man that told the whole Zambia that Eddie Galungu was a bad leader and in less than two months the same man begins to praise Eddie Galungu something is wrong somewhere something is wrong somewhere and I, and I, and I, I don't I don't I don't know uh, if people are prayerful enough I don't know if people are spiritual enough I don't know if people have depths of God. I don't know if people have spiritual understanding of God. How can somebody, the same person, tell you that this person is the worst leader that has ever lived on the surface of the earth? And barely two months later, this person it begins to speak that this person was actually a good leader. Something is wrong. Something is amiss. And the children of God must open their eyes. 
something is wrong somewhere something is wrong the devil has an assignment the devil has a particular uh, assignment that he wants to do but I, I'm, I'm calling upon the men and the women of God to stand in prayer for our nation I'm calling upon the men and the women of God it is okay President Akainde has been given a mandate of five years but we need to pray because something is amiss I was I was very very taken aback when I was watching that little clip where Siawan was actually praising Eddie Galungu. This is a man that he practically humiliated. This is a man that he insulted day and night. This is a man that he called all sorts of names. This is a man that could not sleep without uh, Siawan actually saying bad things about him. And it's only barely two months that Eddie Galungu left power in the nation of Zambia and the same Sia one is saying Eddie Galungu was a good leader the same person is saying the man was actually a good leader and when you listen to what he's saying he's saying the people in Africa they love to be deceived this is what he's saying in his video. He's saying the people in Africa love to be deceived. The people in Africa don't like the truth. There the, are the a lot of things that Siawan is saying in that video. He's saying the people of Africa. He's saying the people of Zambia. You can tell them that this is white. And as long as uh, somebody else tells them that it is black, they will see it as black. Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. And I cry for Mother Zambia. I cry for this nation in prayer and in supplication. The devil that, 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 my, my God, my God, my God, my God. You, 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 you cannot understand this thing. You cannot understand this thing. Go and watch the video. Go and watch the video. Sia one is actually saying in that video that people in Zambia or in Africa just need to be deceived. He's saying that in his video and he touches my spirit and he touches my soul and he touches my understanding. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. The man has no moral fiber. The man has, you see, he's saying, ah, two months Two months has not passed. Two months has not passed. Two months has not passed. Not even two months has passed. And the man begins to confess to the Zambian people. He begins to confess that actually what I was saying about Eddie Galungu was a lie. He is practically confessing that what he said about Eddie Galungu, everything he said was a lie in trouble we're in trouble this if you're watching me and you're a pastor you're watching me and you are a prophet you are watching me and you are a man of God I want you to go to the place of prayer I actually want you to go to the place of prayer I'm telling you I actually need you to go to the place of prayer because if you can go to the place of prayer, that is a big revelation. It's a big revelation. It's a big revelation. You cannot take it for granted. What he said in that short video, you cannot take it for granted. And we must pray. And we need to pray. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven i'll forgive their sins and i'll heal their land what sia one is saying in that video is like the the issue of adam and eve the issue of adam and eve it's it's not been six months yet it's not been five months yet it's not been four months yet it's barely two months after the election and the man is praising the very person that he said this person is a devil wow just wow just wow just wow 
The only thing I can say is just wow. Just wow. When I saw that video, my heart was broken. When I saw that video, my eyes were in tears. When I saw that video, I, 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 I felt something move in my spirit. I felt something move in my understanding. A man that said that Eddie Galungu was a devil is the same man and he, he, that he, he's saying that Eddie Galungu was actually a good leader. The same man with the same mouth. Wow. The things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. The things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. The things of the spirit. I want, to, I want you to understand something. The things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. The things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. My God. My God. Even, 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 even if. My God. The things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. The things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The man in the video says, you can, I'm sure many of you are in Zambian platforms, you can see the video, it's everywhere. It's, 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 it's everywhere. I saw the video on, 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 on a blog in Zambia. Somebody sent it to me on a blog in Zambia. And he actually says, if you're wearing white and I, see one tells you that what you're wearing is black, you will believe it. So people, don't believe in the truth. My God. The things of the spirit. If, if you are a child of God, the things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. I can tell you that. I, I'm telling you, the things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. And I stand here, I stand here as a prophet. I want you to be prayerful. I stand here as a prophet. You are going to hear things. You are going to hear things. You are, I'm, I'm telling you, you are going to hear things. You are going to hear things. You are going to hear things. Especially in the nation of Zambia, you are going to hear things. Especially if, if you are not a man that understands the things of the spirit, you are going to hear things. I'm telling you, you are going to hear things. I was amazed to the, to, to, to the core that Sia one we actually mentioned Eddie Galungu barely two months after the election and say Eddie Galungu was a good leader. My God. I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to find that video. I know not everybody is spiritual and, and I understand that not everybody that watches me or finds my videos is spiritual. Some people are just spiritually young, spiritual babies to understand certain things. You understand? Some people are just spiritual babies. And when you understand, when you look at the video that Siawan made, he's saying that some people don't look, they don't see with their eyes. They need to be directed. They don't see. So I understand when some of you are insulting me. I understand when some of you are calling me all sorts of things that you are, that you are calling me. It's okay. I understand. He actually said people are blind. That's what he was saying in that video. He was actually saying people are blind. That's what he was saying. That's what he was saying in the video. That people are actually blind. People are actually blind. And it is my responsibility. And as a man of God, this I'm only coming for, for those that are evangelists, pastors, prophets, and those that are spiritually awake. This is a call for you to pray for spiritual awakening. This is a call for you to pray for spiritual awakening among us the church. It is a spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening. And, the, the, and this, is, this is what I'm saying. Spiritual awakening. As a man of God, I'm calling it spiritual awakening. We need to go to the place of spiritual awakening. We need to wake up and we need to understand certain things. We need to understand. We need to understand what God is trying to do in this particular dispensation it is too early 
for Sia One to praise Eddie Galungu. I cannot believe this. So Sia One had an agenda. Sia One had an evil agenda. He had an evil vendetta. He had an evil mindset. He had his own plan outside the plan of God. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He had his own plan. He had his own mission. He had his own agenda. And he managed to put that mission, he managed to put that agenda across. He managed to put that mission and that agenda across. This is dangerous for a believer. This is dangerous for a born again believer. It's dangerous. This is dangerous. And that is why I tell people that it's not about the prophecy coming to pass. I always tell people something. It's not always about the prophecy coming to pass. It is about what is in the prophecy. It's not about the prophecy coming to pass. It's about what is in the prophecy. If you can see what is in the prophecy, if you can understand what is in the prophecy, if you can unveil the prophetic word, you need you when when a prophetic word is released you need to sit down and analyze the prophecy what is inside the prophecy what is unveiled inside the prophecy you see what makes us great prophets is not the ability of the prophecy to come into pass but it is hearing god that's what makes us prophets that you have correctly heard god that is what makes you a prophet i'm telling you it's not about whether the prophecy is coming to pass or not. No, that's not what makes you a prophet. What makes you a prophet is to correctly hear the voice of God and release the mind of God to the people. That's what I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. Because according, according to the natural law, Siawan prophesied that HH will win. And HH won. Why is Sia One praising Eddie Galungu? Why is he praising Eddie Galungu? And I want everybody to understand this. Why is he now praising Eddie Galungu? That's the question I'm going to give you. That's the question I'm going to give you. Spiritual intelligence is not for everybody. I'm telling you, spiritual intelligence is not for everybody. And I say this without fear of contradiction. Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong. So, no, 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 no. Something is wrong. Something, something is wrong. Wow. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis. And I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now and I approve this message. God bless you. Shalom for now.